How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be talking about the best three VPNs for Windows. These are the top three contenders after having tested a whole bunch of VPNs, about a couple of dozen VPNs. Um, I believe about 30 VPNs have been tested and I've narrowed it down to these three. You've got ExpressVPN, NordVPN, and Surfshark. I'll briefly go through the features, but if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, especially if you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find the full reviews down below, as well as links to pricing and discounts if you'd like to jump straight to that. Okay, so I've got ExpressVPN with over 3,000 servers in 94 countries, which is way above the average. You've got plenty of servers, plenty of countries, way above the average, and you have the necessary security features, such as the kill switch and split tunneling. If you didn't know, the kill switch will stop your internet connection if the VPN discovers connects unexpectedly, making sure that you don't get any of information leaked in case the VPN disconnects. So it's very important. And if you are in a censorship heavy country, ExpressVPN is definitely going to be the way to go, especially if you're in China. ExpressVPN is one of the only VPNs that are able to bypass the Great Firewall of China. So keep that in mind if you are in China or you're going to visit China. Split tunneling will allow to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So I can simply choose my torrenting client, for example, and only my torrenting client will be using the VPN while the rest of my network is left outside the VPN tunnel or the other way around. It's a very useful feature, especially once you know or learn how useful it can be. You've got a handful of protocols. I recommend using the best performing protocol. You can also stick to automatic, but I do like lightweight UDP. It works almost 100% of the time. ExpressVPN allows you to secure up to five devices per subscription. Now, briefly about NordVPN. NordVPN will be the best well-rounded VPN. ExpressVPN will be um, kind of the best VPN for privacy and anonymity and ease of use, whereas NordVPN is more of a well-rounded option. You've got over 5,000 foreign servers in 60 countries. You've got specialty servers, threat protection, which is kind of an advanced ad blocker that also blocks malware, uh, written websites and ads and whatnot. You've got MeshNet, which will allow you to share uh, files over the secured network of NordVPN. You've got a couple of protocols here. Just select Nord Links for the best performance. A kill switch as well as an app kill switch, which will close selected apps when you disconnect from the VPN or the connection drops unexpectedly rather than closing your entire connection as it is with the uh, kill switch. And split tunneling, of course, just like ExpressVPN. You've also got advanced here in advance. We've got custom DNS for an easy way to change your DNS. And Skated servers if you're in a censorship heavy country. Overall, it's a great VPN, and I recommend it to anyone that is looking for a very good value uh, VPN that doesn't cost much, but also does not compromise whatsoever on performance or security. And finally, if you're looking for the best budget option, by the way, NordVPN will allow you to secure up to six devices per subscription. And again, Surfshark is going to be the best budget option, especially that it allows you to secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription subscription without having to use a router. It's a great option for most people. You've got multi-hop and static IP, which are specialty servers, just like the ones you have with NordVPN. You've got over 3,200 servers in 95 countries, which is just a huge number of countries. And you've got the kill switch, a handful of protocols. Again, stick to WireGuard for the best performance. Bypasser, which is pretty much the same as split tunneling with the uh, addition of being able to select specific IP addresses and websites to bypass the VPN. You've got a handy speed test feature, which is a great time saver. And you've got rotating IP in no borders mode. Rotating IP will automatically rotate your IP every five to 10 minutes while your VPN location stays the same, helping you cover up your tracks, especially if you're in a censorship heavy country. And if you are in a censorship heavy country, no borders mode will help you bypass these firewalls. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about them. And keep in mind, they do have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you are able to test drive these VPNs for 30 days risk-free. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.